Hey, greetings from Sweden. My name is Nuno Santiago. I am the product manager at Pontec and I want to tell you more about the LGX extruder. We will give you a sneak peek inside, show you how to use it and how to change the interface plugs to enable different applications. We will also show you how to install the LGX for flexible set that turns the LGX into a short filament path direct extruder optimized to print with flexible filaments. I'll be right back. Hi again, I'm back. Let's run it. We have here one LGX box and the LGX add-on box with the LGX for flexible set. Let's start with the LGX extruder. In the box we have the start of the show, the LGX extruder, including the direct drive interface plug, a Bowden interface plug, a 2mm hex key, the recommended tool to work the LGX screws, the LGX leaflet that tells you more about the LGX and different LGX applications, and the powered by Bontex sticker. The LGX has four screws on the front. This one on the left upper corner should not be taken out unless absolutely necessary. It holds the LGX together. If you take it out, be very careful. The other three screws hold the LGX to the stepper motor. These two on the bottom have a double purpose, they also hold the interface plug. The LGX has many mounting hole patterns. On each side there are two M3 holes with 5mm depth. On the bottom there are two M3 holes with 12mm depth. On the back there are the usual four holes on the stepper motor. On the front we have a similar mounting pattern with four points. In some applications using the front holes is the best solution to mount the LGX on a carriage. Here at the top we have the pre-tension lever. The pre-tension lever has six presets. All to the left, the drive wheels do not engage the filament. This position is for stress-free load and unload of filament. To the right there are five more positions that can be used for several tunings and material types. In principle, the softer the material, the higher position you will need. For instance, we use position 1 for PLA, position 2 for semi-flexible filament and position 3 for Ninja Flex. Find the setting that best works for your setup and material and keep using it for repeatable results. Let's take the direct drive interface plug out. Please use the supplied hex key and take these two bottom screws out. The interface plug will come out easily. Let's replace it with the Bowden interface plug. We fit it in. We tighten the screws. And here it is, about an LGX, LGX-B. Let's take it out again and look into the direct drive interface plug in more detail.
Here at the bottom it has the slice engineering mounting pattern that fits the copperhead screw mount and the mosquito hot ends. Mosquito, mosquito magnum and mosquito liquid. They all fit the same way. The mounting pattern fits on the bottom and two M2.5 screws hold it from the top. We have a copperhead screw mount heatsink here to illustrate how. We take the clip out, we take the collet out and we fit them together. We use the mounting hardware that comes with the hot end to screw it together from the top. We use the LGX hex key to tighten the screws. Now we can put it back on the LGX. Very easy. We push the direct drive interface plug down the interface socket and screw it in with the bottom screws. Done. Here it is, a direct drive LGX, LGX DD. Let's look inside the LGX. Before start, make sure the pretension lever is all to the left. We take the direct drive interface plug out. We unscrew the top right screw. And very carefully let's take the last screw out. The LGX housing is made of three different layers Let's just look beneath the front layer. Be aware of the collet, it may fall, do not lose it, it is necessary. Moving the lever handle will bring closer or further away the drive wheels to each other. We can also see half of the central tight filament path running down through the extruder. The frontal housing layer completes the other half of the filament path. Let's put it together again. We move the lever all to the left. We place the frontal plate and collet. And we tighten these two top screws. Let's move on to install the FF for flexible set. Let's see now how to install the FF for flexibles set. We take the cold block from the box, install it on the interface socket and we tighten the two screws but not fully. Now we take the nozzle out of the box, we take the copper head hot block as well, we get the nozzle into the hot block, don't screw it all the way in, we leave some room for the heat break to, for now. We take the heat break out and we screw it onto the hot block. We align the top of the thread 
to the top face of the hot block and the flats pointing to the front and to the back. We tighten the nozzle. The nozzle will be fully tightened later when installed on the printer and only after the max temperature has been reached. Now we open the mounting accessories bag and take the thermal paste out. We open the thermal paste bag by using a pair of scissors to cut the corner of the bag. We put a small amount of thermal paste on the heat break and use the bag to spread it evenly, as much as possible. Now we fit the heat break into the cold block. We push it all the way in, rotating it a bit from side to side to help spreading the paste. Align the cold and hot blocks front faces and tighten the set screw and the front screws that hold the cold block. For last, we install the heat sink. We may choose to install it to the left or to the right hand side of the cold block and extruder. We will install it to the right hand side. Inside the accessories bag you will find a small guiding pin and a screw. We take them both out of the bag. We also take the heat sink out of the box. On the back of it we find a pattern with three mounting holes. We push the guiding pin into the top small hole on the inner side of the heat sink and we use the thermal paste to coat the side of the cold block where the mounting hole pattern is. We place the screw in the holding hole and align the pin and screw with the holes on the cold block. We slide them in. Now we tighten them together using the supplied hex key. We wipe away the excess of thermal paste with a paper cloth or cotton buds. And finally, the LGX FF for flexibles is ready to go. And here we have it, a full LGX FF for flexibles ready to mount and use. Instructions on how to install it on different printer models will be available on the related product pages at our website and also on Bontech's YouTube channel. See you next time, dive in and print something great 